Yeah, so I'm gonna run around here and I'm gonna see if I can find anything, fight some enemies along the way, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then I just want to check to um, see if there's anything around here. Like, really, that's all I want to do. But once I look around here, I'm going to go back to... Or we're going to continue the, uh, the main story because the next world should unlock uh, some more things for us that'll be useful. Um, specifically the White Trinity. Like, I think it's better to unlock that before we revisit the worlds. Because then I don't have to, like, constantly be going back and forth. Now, once I have the White Trinity, we should be able to grab everything in the game. So, we're gonna head to the next world. But, uh, first I'm gonna run around here since I'm here anyway. Maybe I'll level up a little bit. But I'm gonna see if I can find anything that I missed. Actually, we could go to the, uh, Dalmatian's house. Ouch. I should probably do that. Do what we can get. get another present. Another gift from Pongo and Perdita. Thundera G, Mythal Shard. Oh great, we got another torn page. <laughs> okay. We might have to go back to uh, Winnie the Pooh. I just can't remember if I've seen like all the Trinity marks I've seen and all the chests that I've found. I used to have this, these maps like memorized because in the strategy guide I used when I was younger, you know, it was an actual book and they would have the maps with everything on it. So they'd show you the location of like all the treasure chests, all the Trinity marks. It was pretty useful. I, I really like that strategy guide. The ones online are good too, but they don't really show you the, you know, the map layout and all that stuff. Or at least the ones I use don't have that. But we're gonna go see Winnie the Pooh again. But a anyway, I had those maps memorized. <laughs> no, I don't. Clearing card of oh no, I'm not a big fan of this one. I think I remember having trouble with this mini game, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. This, uh, it's hard for me to do <laughs> this voice. This here is my bouncing spot. We can bounce around here all day. Nothing beats bouncing. Who wanna bounce too, Thora? It's lots of fun. Bounce with the finest. You'll need some pointers. Oh, <laughs> whoops, wrong voice. Bounce with the finest. You'll need some pointers from the finest. But Owl, you don't bounce around like we do. I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. Bounce this way, please. I'm not good at, you know, adding lisps and stuff to my voices, so I, I apologize. Probably doesn't sound very good.
Watch Taker's bouncing pattern, then follow his lead. Here's a little warm up. One, two, oh god. Alright, so this one's simple. But I think they get a lot more complicated. Oh, I don't have any of my abilities, that's right. I was like, it shouldn't be that bad. I can just. I have my high jump and glide and all that. Nope. <laughs> Now it gets tricky. We do a little triangle thing. And then we... Okay. Oh boy. We go over here. To that. Back here. And we go over here. Jeez. And then... I'm gonna go to this one over here and jump back. Can't believe I messed that one up. Gotta use my Keyblade swings. <laughs> You're doing fantastical. This will be the last one. Is that it? Okay. Well, at, le at least it's simple going across the logs. However, I have to position myself correctly here. Oh boy. <laughs> Is that it? You've gotten mighty good at bouncing, Thora. Right, Rue? my high jump? What? Hey, Tigger, I think he's ready for the big one. Oh, no. Well, there's only one way to find out. Whack the nuts back at the pot to shatter it. I feel like this is where he might have had trouble, but I don't know. It is mostly about timing. And I also gotta make sure I don't fly off the log. See, I don't like the ones where I jump in the air. I'd much rather, like, do an overhead swing, but I don't know how to force myself to do those. Alright, come on, what's this pot made out of? Unbelievable. Oh, I can't believe I hit that one. Oh, there we go. I didn't realize there was a counter in the corner there, on the top left. It was an actual counter. Ooh! Another AP up! Well, good thing Donald and Goofy aren't here because we get to use this on ourselves. Again. Let's go try the thief all! Oh, okay. What are you doing? This tree doesn't have any honey, I see. what this is. Well, let's jump on this thing and find out. Oh, 
come on. Sora. Why didn't you jump? I pressed circle when I was on the platform, come on. I got a treasure chest. Mithril shard. What does this one do? Found a rare nut. Okay. Um. Who will be your seesaw partner? Oh. Interesting. Really? I think I might have to go talk to Owl. Let's go do that. Ah, splendid. Here's something in return. A power-up? Would you be so kind to, as to collect a few more nuts for me? Oh, uh, okay. I'll try this again. Um, where did I see that thing? You're telling me I can't grab that? Right? Fine. Shield 2G. Oh, interesting. Can I break this? Oh, I can. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to think of violence when I'm in the Hundred Acre Wood. Like, come on. Ooh. Alright. I guess there's some fake nuts around here. I can't believe I recovered that one. Dark matter. Huh. Defense up. Anything else? Oh, jeez. Like, do I have to go one at a time? Apparently. There's like, there's one more, but let's see what Rude does for us. Mm, nothing really. I'm trying to figure out where the heck I am. I can't grab this one. Oh, there we go. That was weird. And another AP up. Are those all the nuts? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know what else is around here. So I've pretty much explored most of this area, I think. I mean, I'm just looking for 
you know, something pink. Oh, jeez. But I don't see anything. But we got a... We got a bunch of, like, stuff to level up. Um, Sora here. So that's good. Alright. Let's, uh... See if we can move on. I mean, I don't think there's any left. Another mithril. Okay, so... Anyway, let's... Go ahead and move on to the next thing. But, uh... Before we do that, I'm gonna explore the rest of Traverse Town. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm going to go back to the, uh, item shop? Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Because I need to buy some ethers. I'm running low on ethers, and I found out that they're actually pretty valuable. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue finding some enemies, exploring. Maybe finding some new items. Then I'm gonna go to the uh, go to the shops and see if I can buy anything. Specifically ethers, and then we'll move on to the next world. Alright, so throughout the gizmo shop has a little puzzle thing here, I think. If I can do this correctly. Now that we have high jump, we can actually get up to these things. Oh my god, the camera. Not sure exactly what they do. Also not sure exactly where everything is. But what does that do? I don't know. Oh, look at that. We found two postcards here. Alright. For some reason, the examine button wasn't popping up initially, so... Okay. Let's go send these postcards off. That might be the last ones we need. Probably not. Unless there's something in the hotel. Alright. I think we'll just, uh... We'll go see. Has that door always been there? I probably said that earlier in the playthrough. Holy crap. I don't know. Hmm. AP up. Darn, there's one more. I don't know where it is. Now I can equip a uh, thing. I think we'll go with Mars Arcanum. Sounds pretty good. So, I, I just don't remember where this last postcard is, and I don't know what I've explored already, so I'm actually just going to look it up because I don't want to sit here forever trying to find it. <laughs> Well, there's the last postcard. What is this? I don't even know. But Geppetto was holding out on us. He was hiding that last postcard, trying to keep it all for himself. I don't think so. Anyway. We get a defense up. Thanks for sending all ten postcards. Anything else? Thanks for the postcards, no more presents. Wow. Fine. I mean, defense up is a pretty good reward. You know who that goes to? Sora. Alright. Now we're gonna go to the next 
world, I think. Probably should have saved the game. Of course, I can't fly over there. I'm gonna warp to Neverland, and then we're gonna go. I hope I'm doing this right. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this gummy mission, though. I don't know. The gummy missions are a lot scarier on proud mode. <laughs> yep, and that's why. Ooh, blueprint. Leviathan. Pretty cool name. Ouch! Oh, of, of course I would hit everything after I grabbed the health. Any health. Oh, that was, that was not good. That was not good at all. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit from behind. Alright, I had to make sure I grabbed that health. The only reason why I slide, slowed down. Try grabbing the power stuff. Oh, jeez. I don't know. So the lasers are supposed to use power when you fire them. But it doesn't show my power gauge going down. Oh gosh. Oh, that was scary. Then, of course, I take the hit as soon as I collect the health again. It's not fair, these stupid freaking things that come up from behind you. Can we, been, can we be done with this? I'd really like to be done with this. Oh, these guys, these guys. Oh, we barely made it. It's not fun. It's just not fun. Hello, Bastion. Here we go. This is... This is the second to last world. Gorse, look at that. I know this place. Hollow Bastion. Hmm, that's strange. I wonder why. I feel this warmth inside, right here. No, oh, you're just hungry. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always found that to be like the funniest line when I played this game as a kid. Hey, I'm serious. Now what? Bubbles? Let's go. Oh, there's a save point. Good. Let me uh, create my save. Because we need it. Just in case. Alright, so there's some uh, treasure chests down here. I think. Life G. Okay. Uh, so this one is underneath us. How do we get down there? Well, maybe we should use a bubble. Is it this one? Yes, it is. However, I don't think it's the right one. But we need to use the other bubble. This is where Hollow Bashing gets a little bit weird. Can I fly over to this one? This one might take us. No, it 
won't. Okay, let me just make sure I'm not seeing anything down here. Okay. That's probably that bubble over there. So yeah, this is where... Um, this is one of the reasons why Hollow Bastion is a little bit of a weird world. And it's... It's a lot of stuff like this. Where you have this, like, different type of platforming. Oh, that was scary. Lazara ring? Okay. I think this one should take us where we need to go. Meteor G. And I have to climb all the way back up. Yeah, that's no big deal. Just do some platforming. So you have like this part of Hollow Bastion, and then you have the like building part, which also has some no vessel, no help different from the stuff. Heartless. So tell me, how'd you get here? Going off with his backflip dodging. Stop! So, you finally made it. You know, I I wish we wouldn't hear the water. We've always been rivals, haven't we? It's too distracting. You've always pushed me, as I've always pushed you. Riku. It also, it, it's here. not really a waterfall, it's more of like a be water rise. Because the water's going about? up. Let the keyblade choose. Another thing that's it's weird about, about Hall of Fashion. Oh no. Hey, that's a different keyblade. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. But you're not a Keyblade Master. But that's impossible. I think. How did this At least happen? not yet, because you have to take a I test for it. I my way here with the Keyblade. You were just the delivery boy. Sorry, your part's over now. Here, go play hero with this. Look, it's a callback to the uh, beginning of the game. Throwback. The hell, Donald? Oh, well, I know the king told us to follow the key and all, but. Unbelievable. Some friends. They only like me for my keyblade. Hey, don't move. You're hurt. Why? Why did you you come here? I came to fight for Bell. What if we fight together? That's why I'm here. Meet 
too. I'm not gonna give up now. I came here to find someone very important to me. Well, our party is beast because Donald and Goofy are jerks and left me as soon as I lost the Keyblade. Oh, we got a Mega Elixir. Uh, Alright, there's a White Trinity mark there, but I don't think we can use it yet. Well, actually we can't because, well, we don't have Donald and Goofy anymore. And now we get to ride on these platforms. Luckily, these ones will just teleport us. Also, we can't fight Heartless anymore because we don't have a weapon, but Beast can. Get him, Beast. Also, I can still use magic, though. Look at that. Good job, Beast. The gates are shut. Alright, so now we're gonna have to, like, go around and mess with stuff. Kinda weird. Um, but yeah. Anyway. What does this do? First move in that thing. Can I jump on this? Oh, I can. I wonder if... I'm trying to figure out if I can jump onto this thing. There's probably a way, but I don't remember. We could always come back later <laughs> when things actually make sense. This is going to bring us down here. Um, oh, I forgot to take uh, Beast's items away. Where is this going? It goes up here. Can they despawn, please? I guess not. Alright, you know what? Our main goal right now should be to uh, just get through everything. Get our Keyblade back. Because this just isn't going to work. Um, so I've talked about this a lot before. like. In any playthrough where I have to create multiple saves, I always bring up Kingdom Hearts or my experience with Kingdom Hearts. And this world is the reason why I always have a new save each time I play. Because when I streamed this game back in 2015, I was going to actually upload this to YouTube. I was going to upload that playthrough to YouTube. But unfortunately, things got messed up. So in the Hall of Bastion, I, I streamed it. And then I went back to, you know, mess with the VOD and everything. And when I listened to it, my mic was completely... It, it was awful. Like, <laughs> it was really, really bad. And I couldn't go back and replay the world because I only had one save, so if I wanted to go back, I would have to play through the entire game again. Also, uh, this is... This is a puzzle that was, like, confusing as a kid, but now it's, like, it's extremely simple. Because really, all you have to do is go from one button to the next. And it's pretty obvious, like, which button. Now that I said it, I'm probably going to get stuck here. I don't know, I always felt like I got stuck in the, in this little maze thing. And I don't know why. Because it's very simple. But anyway. Um. Yeah. The... What does this one do? Oh, it... Raises that. Okay. That makes sense. Ow! Alright. 
Um, before I move on, let me... Damn, look at all this stuff. Whoa. Jeez. Okay. We don't want, uh... Beast to be wasting items. I need to also make sure he... Uses regular attacks, special attacks. There we go. Sounds like a door has been opened. Head back to the castle gates. Alright. But yeah. Um, so I played through Hollow Bastion. I finished the entire world. And went back to check the VOD. Audio was completely messed up. And I had to... I had to, um... Just... Oh, crap. See, here's where I, I start getting mixed up. Because I have to remember the order I press these buttons in. <laughs> we went to this one and then that one. But because the VOD was messed up, I couldn't... I just couldn't use it, and I couldn't... And I didn't want to go back and play through the entire game just to replay Hollow Bastion. So, at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna finish the game on stream, and then I'll record another playthrough some other time. So, here we are. This is that other playthrough. <laughs> Seven years later, I'm recording the playthrough finally. But I have learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson about making sure I have backup saves. Because, you know, it's very important. Speaking of backup saves, let's go ahead and save. So yeah, ever since then I always make sure I have at least two different saves that I can use so that when I do record, and if something happens to the recording, I can go back, load up the save, and just redo the session rather than replaying through the entire game. Do we really have to do this? Beast, need help. Blizzard doesn't really do much. Alright, so now we can just move on through this. And ignore those enemies unless Beast wants to kill them. Now we're just... we're going. <laughs> the princesses, princesses of heart. And what about Kyrie? Why is she here? What are they going to do with Kyrie? I don't know. Oh, you're Actually, I kind of know, but I'm not going to say anything. will destroy you. You're wrong, what? Riku. The darkness may destroy my body, but it can't touch my heart. 
My heart will stay with my friends. It'll never die. Really? We'll, we'll just see about that. Ah! What, what is that? Sora ain't gonna go anywhere. You'd betray your king? Not on your life. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either, because he's become one of my best buddies after all we've been through together. See you later, Donald! Could you tell the king I'm really sorry? Hold on, Goofy! We'll tie them together! Well, you know, I'm the one and right for all. Well, I guess you're stuck with us, Sora. Thanks a lot, Donald Goofy. How will you fight without a weapon? I know now I don't need the Keyblade. I've got a better weapon. My heart! <laughs> Your heart? What good will that weak little thing do for you? Although my heart may be weak, it's not alone. It's grown with each new experience, and it's found a home with all the friends I've made. I've become part of their heart just as they've become a part of mine. And if they think of me now and then, if they don't forget me, then our hearts will be one. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. Yeah. Haven't you heard of the power of friend the power of friendship? Come on. Now look at that. The power of friendship brought me the keyblade back. Oh, I don't have magic. Oh crap. Oh, this is getting a little bit sketchy. I'm trying to, like, guard his attacks, but it's just not working. Oh, boy. His attacks are just too fast. Tech points. Oh boy. Thank you. There we go. I was gonna use Ars Arcanum, but <laughs> I didn't have as much magic as I would have liked. So your heart won this battle. Of course. Learned White Trinity. All right. Um. Hmm. We're gonna have to go back and grab some stuff. So I think we're gonna keep Donald and Goofy for right now, just in case we run into Trinity marks. We'll at least uh, take a rest for now. But now we have the Keyblade back, so that's good. And we are going to go. Where? I think we have to go over here. This should be the library. Yep. A biblioteca. Karma Volume 8. This book seems to be arranged alphabetically. This is the K shelf. Put Karma Volume 8 on the shelf. And look at that! We opened the thing. Here's another, like, kind of puzzle type room thing. Also, this is where we had that cutscene with uh, Kyrie and that old lady. I don't know exactly who that was, but um, I want to say her grandma or something. There's a chest here. Will we get the chest? Nope.
Come on. There we go. Elixir. That's pretty good. Uh, so here we have the A shelf. I mean, it's pretty easy to see, like, what you need because everything's pretty much color-coded. Or at least the, uh, the ones that you need are color-coded. And they're pretty obvious, too. <laughs> you can definitely see, like, those. These are, uh, things we need. Also, there's a save point. There's a lot of, like, puzzle stuff in Hollow Bastion. Ooh, Trinity Mark. We need that to grab a book. And it's a yellow book. Azal, Volume 3. So that's the one we need downstairs. I don't like that we have to, like... <laughs> try doing that multiple times it's like a slot machine which I don't I don't know if that's the best thing to uh, to have it doesn't really teach you good things like I don't think we should be teaching gambling anyway oh third time's the charm of course it is. That's probably pretty consistent. I don't remember. But this book looks out of place, so we're gonna take that. Also, I just kicked my desk. Or I should say, need my desk. Hopefully my mic didn't pick that up, but... Oh well. Ultima G. Uh, so now we should be able to just drop down here. Put this on the shelf, this should do something. We can put the green book here, and then this blue book is not supposed to be here, so we take that out. The leg, volume six. Put that over here. This isn't like too bad of an area. I kind of like it. I mean, look, it could be a much more confusing puzzle. So, could be worse. Do I have one of these? There's an N book and a T book. Oh, not expect that. I'm trying to remember if they're all in this place or if they're kind of like spread out in Hall Bastion. They might be. But I feel like they would all be here. So we've already checked that. We got this. Um, we'll go out here. Nope, we won't. The door is locked. Oh, this, is this a book? It is. <laughs> I didn't realize that. It didn't stand out the way I thought it would. And then behind here we get a button. What does the button do? Oh, we unlocked the door. Now the only thing to do would be see if I can see another book. Because we are missing something. Also, what's in here? Another treasure chest. And we have to spin this thing more. My favorite. Oh, come on. This is gonna take four tries. Oh, five. Is this the fifth time? 
I don't know, I wasn't keeping track. Oh, this is just mean. Is it even possible? Dude, come on. Come on, don't do this to me. Jeez. You know what? It was worth it. Whoops. Um, AP up. That to us. Do I have abilities? No, I don't. I, I, I have nothing. So... Uh, Just have to figure out what this last book is. Not under the table, not under there. Here it is. Nahara. Volume 5. And it opens up another bookshelf. With this book on it, Mava Volume Three. It should be down here. And how do I remember this stuff? I wish my me memory was this good all the time. Half it. I don't know if there's another shelf that's missing a book. Can't really remember. The memory was nice while it lasted. And... The lift stop. Okay. So... I think we have to go over here first. 